season one, I kind of uh, felt like there was a very automatic connection to the character and I could draw so many parallels to myself that I sort of relied mainly on looking at the scripts. And um, I, I did read Blood of Elves as well, which gave me a really nice kind of essence of who Siri was. And then, um, but then the scripts were always what I relied on as kind of like, they were like my Bible. And the same thing goes for season two. It's mainly just reading through the scripts and then like not over preparing because I, I, the way I work is I like to, on the day kind of find what I'm gonna do rather than plan it ahead. So it's mainly about getting in the mind of the character and then seeing what happens on the day with the scenes. Well, obviously, because of everything she's experienced in season one, she's kind of carrying this huge weight with her into season two. So she she has this power that she possesses that she's terrified of and that she needs to kind of confront at the end of the day and kind of shake hands with and accept it could be something good rather than just something terrifying. Um, and she also has a lack of trust in people, so her relationship to Geralt is initially difficult for that reason and also because they're both, you know, they both have different, in, uh, uh, want, like, wants. Um, Ciri wants to train and be a great fighter and Geralt just wants to protect her, so, that, um, so that's not ideal for him. So they have that kind of push and pull relationship, but you see their relationship um, grow and they build that trust. And yeah, throughout this season, you basically see how various people throughout will change series um, to who Siri is, really. Ooh, I mean, they all had a different intensity to them because I, like Siri, want to do the choreography kind of perfectly. Um, uh, and, and sometimes I kind of, you know, was told that you have to remember she's trying to, you've got to show her development, you know? So it's kind of like you've got to not, you know, kind of show like when she's not as good and then get better and better. But um, I, I think the most intense was probably the obstacle course, just because it was over an, uh, a week and a half, and um, because there were so many elements involved and wires and stunts, um, so that was the most intense. But the mo like it was so much fun. It was like being on Go Ape every day. It was amazing. But uh, towards the end, it was a bit like, oh my goodness, like because it, it was freezing. I'd be standing up on this thing with like t like two hot water bottles, but um, it was physically draining, but so. Uh, like exciting and so much adrenaline, I loved it.